Did you know you can use the alignment panel for anchor points, not just shapes and objects? So let's create a shape, and it's going to be a rectangle. Pretty simple, quick little rectangle. Now, I'm going to press the P key to bring up the pen tool, and we're going to add in some anchor points. And let's say I wanted these anchor points to be distributed evenly across this top part of my rectangle. Well, what I would do is press the A key, that's the direct selection tool, the white arrow in your toolbar. I would make a selection of all of these. One of the easiest ways is to click and drag outside of it and make sure you drag across all of the anchor points. And you do need the two corner anchor points because you're gonna distribute everything else in between. Now from there, we're gonna pull open the alignment panel. We can go to our properties panel or we can come up to window down to align to pull open the full alignment panel here and we have distribute objects. Now these I'm gonna distribute on the uh, horizontal. It's gonna be on the vertical axis, but they're distributed across the horizontal plane, but it looks like a vertical one here in the alignment panel. Always a little confusing, but I'm gonna click on this one, and that will distribute evenly each of these anchor points across our design. And I could add in another anchor point here if I wanted to. Make sure I have my shape selected, press P for the pen tool, add another one, maybe I wanted one in the center, and then I could just press A for that direct selection tool, select everything again, and redistribute evenly across. So that's pretty cool. Another quick and nifty thing is you can do aligning to key objects uh, with, or aligning to a key anchor point, I guess is what it would be called. So if I select this rectangle again, press P, and I create an anchor point right here, and I have another anchor point down here, if I wanted to align one of these to uh, each other, I would select the first, I'm gonna probably get this wrong, but I'm pretty sure the second one that I select will be the key point. So let's say I wanna move this bottom one up to the height of this one on top over here. I would select this bottom one first, which I believe I have selected. Then I would hold shift and select this top one. And then if it doesn't say align to key object, then I would make sure I click and select that, and then I should be able to vertically align, yep, that point on the right to this guy on the left. So if I wanted to do the opposite of that, I wanted to bring this one down, then I would select the one I want to move first, or, or the multiple that I want to move first, then I would select this other one by holding shift and clicking on it, make sure my align to key object or key anchor is selected, and then I could vertically align the top one down to the bottom. So the key object will be the last one that you select, basically. And yeah, you can do the same thing here. Like if I had both of these and then I select this middle one, so shift click on the middle, it's the last one I selected and I could pinch these two in to be in the center of the shape just by uh, aligning center like that. So you can see how it can bring these anchor points around and align them and everything to each other and also distribute the spacing of the anchor points. Anyway, little known trick here, you can actually use the alignment panel with anchor points as well here in Illustrator.